today I'm starting off another weekly vlog. I won't be filming every single day of the week but today is Tuesday and I'm basically just at home doing some filming hence why I'm like dressed and got makeup on and stuff. I've already filmed the introduction for two videos. I'm going to be filming a hamster supplies and organization video as well as a hamster food and treat collection. I've actually done my nails like I haven't done my nails since like January. It's been a very 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 long time. On Friday I will be going off to Kent to Charlie's house. I haven't been to Kent since February. Charlie was going to come here but my niece and nephews are coming around so it's just easier for me to go to his for the weekend. Um, so we're going to be taking pictures and um, we're going to go to Nando's on Saturday and we're just going to be chilling on Sunday. I have a few new bits to actually show you guys. These are new on my website. I don't know why I didn't add these on before but these are yogurt drops. I mean every hamster loves these and I mean who doesn't have a pack of these in their collection. Um, and I've also got the chocolate drops so they're just an essential in your treat collection if you have a hamster these are new um you guys won't know about these stuff unless you actually follow me on instagram because i haven't done a video on it these are food dishes these would be great for a syrian hamster maybe a rabbit or guinea pig but it would also make an amazing sand dish for a dwarf hamster so they've just got little fishes on them and i think these are so cute this next straw which i wanted to show you um i've got some of these water bottles in i got them today um, most of the boxes are like really damaged but this box is the least damaged but the thing is they're all yellow which is really disappointing um but yeah i've only got yellow water bottles in so i'm gonna get some more in and hopefully i'll get some different colors i think all of these are actually sold out but i've got 10 more arriving so i've got a parcel that i had been waiting for for a little while it was supposed to arrive yesterday and it didn't um but it came today which is good so it's not hamster related for once um it's actually a pair of trainers from adidas now i don't really wear trainers i think the last time i owned a pair of trainers was when i was in year eight i think they were adidas and i never actually wore them um i'm not the kind of person to wear trainers i usually wear flats ankle boots or uggs so charlie actually bought me these trainers uh it's basically a gift to say well done with college i haven't finished with college yet i've still got eight weeks but technically that's not long i'm really grateful for a pair of trainers because these were like 75 pounds uh, i've literally never had a parcel from adidas in my life but the box is really nice I think these are so ugly. I don't know why people wear them. The sliders, they're literally the most ugliest things ever. Oh my God, I love them already. Oh my God, these are so, so, so nice. I really like these trainers because they are in the traditional style. Whereas nowadays you get trainers and they've got like a weird sole where it's like sticking out here and it's got like fabric. And I just think they look absolutely hideous. They're so ugly and the colors are so bad. So I just wanted something basic, you know? Um, I was debating whether to get these ones, like the white with the black stripes or the black with the white stripes. But I think these ones look so much better. So good morning you guys, it's now the next day and the postman just arrived. So I ordered these little boxes and I haven't ordered these in a very 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 long time. I can't actually fit the animal houses in here. So I thought I would get these boxes because these ones can actually fit the animal houses in because they're a lot taller. I also got another order in but I think I selected the wrong size box. So this is the size box that I normally get and these ones are a bit bigger. I can't remember if I done it on purpose, um, but I think I done it by accident. <laughs> so that's really, really, really annoying. So I've just had to go ahead and order some more of these ones and not these ones. This is the size of the box once it's made up. It's actually a really nice size. These were the kind of boxes I was looking for when I first started doing my subscription boxes and I couldn't find them. And now I'm not really doing subscription boxes as much. I find the exact box. I would have needed like why why does that always happen so this is what it looks like on the inside it's got quite a nice amount of space in here and this is it compared to the box that i was supposed to get so i've just put together all of these wooden bark chews for the boxes so in the hamster boxes i have some branded items and then i have a few items from well two items on my shop so i am a little bit behind on the hamster boxes i think i'm behind on them by about two weeks which is kind of annoying um i ordered the stuff in a little while ago and they literally didn't arrive for two weeks so i had to cancel everything and pick new items to go in the boxes so um all the items are actually at charlie's house at the moment here i have the banana bites which i am going to be 
including in the boxes as well and these are from my shop so i've just finished wrapping them all individually i think this has taken me about an hour in total to put the string through and to write on the labels attach labels and all of that so i've just finished putting together all of the orders for the tiny paws pet shop page one thing that i need to do today is go over everything on my website and just count all the individual items because there's some things that say they're in stock and they're not in stock so it's kind of annoying when i'm packing orders but um a stock check is something that i'm going to start doing at least once a month just to make sure i've got the right quantity of like the items and that everything is up to date now that i've got everything packed into a box i'm going to add in the bubble wrap and seal it all up and then i can pack them into bags that are ready to be sent off on friday evening which is when i'm going to arrive in kent because i'm basically going there after college i'm gonna go ahead and pack these into a bag now and i've been sorting out orders for the past three hours so i'm gonna take a break and go and get something to eat so i've just went ahead and made this wooden bark chew so i just finish uh putting the pattern on here so i can finally pack the last one of my orders so good morning everyone today is friday at the moment i'm pretty much ready to head off to college i'll be leaving out in a bit when i get back from college i'm going to do some last minute packing and then i'm going to be heading out to kent so i have a few things to do like pack orders i think there's like three or four orders that i need to pack because i'm going to the post office today and i have a few little bits to pack like makeup and stuff like that but the rest of my bag is pretty much all ready to go when i get back home so i've got my ted baker travel bag and I'm going to be bringing my Michael Kors crossbody um, just as the little bag I'm going to be carrying around with me for the weekend. So here's Cupcake, I've just given her a bit of millet spray which is one of her favourite things. And here's Cashmere, she's doing really really well, like she's pretty much back to her usual self. So I got home from college not too long ago and I've just been trying to pack the rest of the stuff into my bag. Taking off my makeup as well because I normally do that before I go up to Kent. to charlie's house and i'm just about to have this chicken tikka and it's really nice and i normally get it every time i come down and charlie's got like chips and a burger from the kebab shop so we're going to watch annabelle the creation and we're going to be doing some bits tomorrow so i'll see you guys then so good morning everyone i'm just at the bus stop and we are going to king's hill so we're mainly going to be looking about because it's somewhere that i haven't been to before and we're going to try and get some pictures as well today because i've got my camera with me and later on we'll be going to nando do you know whether it's a boy or girl yet? Girl. I knew it was a girl. Oh, I need a cat. Here you go. saying sorry instead of a small they gave you a large well, how much is the small anyway is it two pounds fifty two pounds sixty medium was two pound ninety so when we went to costa they gave me a large instead of a small because um it was basically taking really long so they gave me a large one to say sorry but i wish i put more sugar in it though because i can hardly taste the sugar Oh, 
cost us less usually, it cost about 28 quid. It cost us 27 today. This is our food, we just got the usual um, boneless pata, so I've got chicken thighs, chicken breasts, two lots of peri peri chips and coleslaw. The chips look a bit overdone today. Yeah, I'll it sort of tastes quite spicy, I like it. Just taste the chicken. Like the Soho one was actually nice. Oh, good. Yeah, that's why. Because it's too late for lunch and it's not late enough for dinner. Well, you may not need McDonald's later. I'm still having McDonald's. Okay. I want to get as much of the sauce as possible. Because I never finished my chicken, I've got a box to put the leftovers in so it doesn't go to waste and I can eat it when I get back to Charlie. Still water will cost you £2.40. The thing is, I don't like this sugar tax thing. I think it's stupid because I always get a Sprite when I go to Nando's and now they offer Sprite Zero and it doesn't taste as nice. And the fact that the drinks have gone up from 260 to 270 and then if you want like no, if you want, it. no, the <coughs> drinks have gone from 260 to 270, but if you want something like a Coke that's not a diet Coke, then it's £2.90. This is what I used to feed my cereal on. I haven't actually filmed that much today. We've gone to a couple of different places, but I haven't really vlogged much of it. So today is quite um, sunny. It's not majorly hot. I think it's like 19 degrees, but it is a bit like cold and breezy. I don't really remember what we've done today. We've done quite a few things, but um, we took a couple of pictures and then we went and had Nando's and then we went to the shops and got a few bits. And then we just got back to Charlie's and I got changed. So that's why I'm wearing a different top. And I got on some different bottoms as well and at the moment we're just going to the shop to get a drink we've got a fanta fruit twist we are currently on a walk somewhere i swear there's something in my eye i'm just trying to not touch anything with my arms because i don't have any sleeves why are you inhaling the bugs i think these ones look a bit sharp and i don't really want to find out my ankles are out too. We made it. Lift it up a bit more so. It's the view is so nice. You can't really see it on camera though. Really it's good. focusing on the wall. Yeah, the view is so nice. You can barely see it on camera. It's not doing it any justice. <laughs> okay. See that house over there? No. Oh yeah. That's the one my great granddad and my great nan used to run. So we went for a little walk and we're now where are we going to the Chinese? Hmm? We're going to the Chinese now. Yeah. So we're on our way back to Charlie's, um, we're almost there and Charlie got me some Chinese so I'm going to have that for dinner. And we've got the new monsters. Well tonight we're watching Insidious 3, we watched Annabelle yesterday, I didn't really like it, it was quite boring. What did you think of it? I don't know, I didn't it was expect boring. it to be like that? the film before Annabelle. Well, of course it was the film before Annabelle. It's Annabelle the creation. So it's obviously the creation of Annabelle. So how can it not be the film before Annabelle? Don't you settle down and lose me here tonight. I'm just packing the last box and I thought I would show you guys everything that's in the box for April and May. So first of all, you get this Trixie um tunnel and it's just woven and i've never actually included this in a box before so this is the first time um i've also included one of the bark tubes that i was putting together a couple of days ago 
as well as a pack of banana bites from my um, bakery page and also a pack of these free Whimsy's shoes. There will be either a cream or a mint colour of these ceramic food dishes. A pack of these four mineral candy cake. Also a pack of the small and furry uh, bark and bite. Oh my mother. I've got some of the board and broker shredder log panels um these have been out of stock on my website for a little while because they're quite hard to get hold of i did go to pets at home and i picked up um a pack of these um fruit chews i have these for my hamsters they're so cute so i've got three of the donuts and i've got two of the ice creams i'm so happy i found these because nowhere really sells these anymore they're kind of expensive and overpriced um but they're just adorable i have one of these for my hamsters the back here these are the rosewood board and breaker play and climb thing so i'm gonna end this vlog here because i've got so much to edit um i hope you guys enjoyed watching it um it's a little different to my usual vlogs i've been doing recently because obviously i went off to kent done a bit of exploring um but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below don't forget to follow me on my social medias i have instagram for myself and my hamsters and i post on there regularly so if you want to keep up to date with what me and my hamsters are doing then just follow me on there so i'll see you guys in my next video so bye for now <laughs>